A sunspot pointing towards Earth has the potential to cause solar flares. But experts told USA Today that this is far from unusual and that the flares would have little effect on the blue planet. AR-3038, or Active Region 3038, has been expanding over the last week, according to Rob Steenberg, Acting Director of the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration's Space Weather Forecast Office. That's what sunspots do, he explained. They will, in general, grow over time. They go through stages before decaying. According to NASA, sunspots appear darker because they are cooler than other parts of the sun's surface. Sunspots are cooler because they form where strong magnetic fields prevent heat from reaching the surface of the sun. NASA stated that the solar flares are a sudden explosion of energy caused by tangling, crossing, or reorganizing of magnetic field lines near sunspots. You can think of it like the twisting of rubber bands, Steenberg said. If you have a couple of rubber bands twisting around on your finger, they eventually get twisted too much and they break. The difference with magnetic fields is that they reconnect. And when they reconnect, it is in that process that a flare is generated. The larger and more complex a sunspot becomes, the more likely solar flares are, according to Steenberg. C. Alex Young, Associate Director for Science in NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center's Heliophysics Science Division, said in an email that the sunspot has doubled in size every day for the past three days, and now is about 2.5 times the size of Earth. He also added that the sunspot is producing small solar flares, but does not have the complexity for the largest flares. There is a 30% chance the sunspot will produce medium-sized flares, and a 10% chance it will create large flares. Solar flares have different levels. The smallest are A-class flares, followed by B, C, M, and X at the highest strength. Within each letter, the class is a finer scale using numbers, and the higher numbers denote more intensity. C flares are too weak to have an effect on Earth. However, more powerful M flares may disrupt radio communication at Earth's poles. At their worst, X flares can disrupt satellites, communication systems, and power grids, resulting in power shortages and outages. Low-intensity solar flares are fairly common, but X flares are less so, according to Steenberg. He estimates that there are about 2,000 M1 flares, 175 X1 flares, and 8 X10 flares in a single solar cycle, which lasts about 11 years. There is less than one large solar flare per cycle, at X20 or higher. This solar cycle started in December of 2019. According to Steenberg, the AR-3038 sunspot has caused C flares, although there have been no M or X flares from this area. He believes more intense flares are possible in the coming week. If you want to learn more about space and stay on top of astronomy news and updates, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.